Okay, so everything in our project is ready. And all we need to do from this point on is basically just wrap it up, make sure the project is presentable on our GitHub, then we'll be ready to share it with the world. So this is our notebook, right? We already have it ready. And what do I need to do is basically go back here again. This is my project repository, my local in my re local folder system. Here is the, the folder. So what I need to do is I want to push all my changes to GitHub. So I haven't done this in every module, but it's a good practice to do it every time you make a major change to push all the changes to Git. So what I want to do is to create a new terminal window. And there, as I said before, now we're at the root folder. We need to go and navigate to the desktop. And then also inside my New York taxi analysis uh, folder. If you just write the first couple of letters of the folder and press tab, it will uh, do it for you. It will uh, fill it for you. So you don't have to write the whole name. Okay, now we're in here. Well, first thing I'm going to do is to say git status. Okay, it says a uh, presentable notebook has been modified, but you haven't committed it or you haven't staged the, it for a comment. Uh, so this, we know what to do. We're going to say git add. Then we're going to say git commit. Finished the project. So it's mostly a good practice to write what exactly you did, but I've done so much. So that's why I'm just going to say I finished the project. I did everything. Uh, but yeah, if you're doing it in every module, you should probably say like, oh, I cleaned the data, um, explore the data and you know, these things. So that when someone goes back and looks at what you did, they can understand what every change uh, is meant to do. Then I'll say git push. And with that, my and with that, my whole project is now on GitHub. So let's see here. Uh, go to the presentable notebook. Of course, it's taking a while to load because it's a big notebook now. And here is my notebook. So everything from beginning to end is here. You can just take a look on GitHub also. Uh, but yeah, awesome. So all of my changes are here. So if I want to share this repository with someone uh, who maybe wants to hire me, they can look at my code. But also the last thing that we should do before we go away is make sure that our readme looks nice because you can't really expect people to understand everything from your code. So it's a good idea to make sure that our readme looks nice and readable. But what should be in my readme? What is the essential knowledge that anyone who ends up in my repository should know? So let's go over what I wrote and then you can also add what your thoughts are. Maybe if you added something extra on top of the course, you can add that to your readme too. So I don't really want to work on the editor on the browser. So what I did, as I showed in the beginning, is just take some notes here. Take some notes on my note taking app. Again, this is called Bear. Uh, it's free, so you can use it yourself too. One nice thing about Bear is that it you can write there with the markdown effect. So as I told you before in the readme files, if you have two hashtags or just hashes, <laughs> it will create the second level title for you. So that's why I already did it here. And I just need to now transfer what I have here to there. And it's not... And let's go over what I have right now. So what I have is I want to talk about the problem definition. Of course, that's like the main thing that someone needs to know when they end up at your repository. What is the problem that you're solving here? And then uh, I quickly go over then, you know, what are the problems with the data that I solved? It's a very good idea to include some of the graphics here. Uh, I most included these as an example and to show you how you can add graphics. But if there are other things that you want to include, of course, go ahead. Um, data problems I fixed. And then I talk about the original features that came with the data. I, you can refer them with a link to the document. Let's see what this document is, the PDF, where the explanations are for the features. So it's easier for people to see. And 
I talk about the feature engineering and different types of features that I added. I also give the list of features that I use in model training. And then I go over the algorithm. Al I'll go over the algorithms I tried and the results of it. So I talk about the, the benchmark model, how it compares to the other models and why I tried these. You can talk about, and then I talk about the tuning section and th this is valuable information. Actually, I talk about how this is the best performing set of parameters, but I decided to use a second best performing parameters because uh, number of estimators is way, way lower and then this will make the model train much faster. And then I also have a table here showing, comparing them all with the tuned random forest. And yeah, another graph. And then it's a good idea to note down some next steps. So if you know, what did you think about that you haven't tried yet? It's good for you, but it's also good for the person who is going through your uh, repository to see, okay, you already talk, thought about these things. So that's good for you. You know, you're not just uh, forgetting these things and these are the options that you can consider. Or you can talk about why you haven't done them. You know, it could be time or maybe you can talk about why it's a bad idea to implement something. So this is basically like a write down of all your ideas and everything that you're thinking about this um, specific project. And it's good to talk about everything that's in your head and all the decision points, why you decided something, why you decided to omit something so that the person who's reading it can understand that you know what you're talking about. So I want to talk about a couple of things here before we copy this to our readme. So as you can see, I have some uh, images here. I just kind of dragged it on this application, but you can't really do this on GitHub. And you know, there can be other things that you want to add on your markdown, you know, could be links, clickable things. And there's a very good website here, which, uh, which is link I'll also share with you. It's called Mastering Markdown. It's basically everything that you can do with Markdown and how you can do it. It's like headers, emphasis, lists, images, everything that here, that is here. And you can also, you also see that I have some tables and these will hopefully look very nice once I paste them to Markdown. And here is a nice, very nice uh, table generator that I use all the time. Uh, I will also share the link with you. And yeah, this one is just basically you write down all your values here. You can create more columns, more rows, however you want it. And then you just click generate and then it generates what you should copy to your editor. So let's copy our content to our readme file. But before we go ahead, I want to show you how to deal with the images because, because we can't just say, you know, put the image here. What we have to do, as you can see here, let's see, images. Yes, so we have to have our images in our folder system. So that's why I'm going to go here and create a new folder called images. And then I will save these guys to my images folder. Images. Uh, the first one shows us the negative and zero values graph dot png save this one in the same place yes two high values graph dot png And this one is the tuned random forest graph, the PNG. Okay, now that these are ready, all I need to do now is to push my changes. So GitHub already has it because I want to edit it there. I mean, you can also edit your readme here. You can just open it with text edit, for example, and then copy and paste everything you have there, which might actually be a good idea. Okay, so let, let's do it this way. I'll copy and paste everything I have here to there and then push the changes. I mean, another way of doing it is basically going here, going to a readme 
and then click this little edit button and then copy and paste it there. It's basically going to be the same thing. So let's do it here instead of my photos. I need to, f yeah, I think it's here. I am just going to say, what am I going to say? Let's see this one. It is negative and zero values graph. Just need to make sure that the I am getting the name right. And I have one here. And its name is two high values graph. <laughs> I'll just graph showing two high values. And then I'll copy and paste the name. And one last one. All the way at the bottom, I think. Yes. performance graph of tuned random forest okay I just save this should be it now if I check the status it says okay I added an images folder and I also changed the readme, so I'll just add all the changes. Make sure they're all be okay. They will all be pushed when I commit and I push. Git commit. Edited the readme. Then I'll say git push. Yes. I hope everything is working now and I have a nice readme. Yes, I mean, I can just delete this. This was just uh, one way of me having uh, the tag on my readme, on my notes, on my app. Okay. Oh, the photos are not working. I'll look into that in a second. Okay, refer to this document. Nice. Okay, this, yeah, the tables look very professional. I'm impressed, actually. <laughs> nice, this all looks good, but uh, let's see now why the photos don't work. I made a mistake in the naming. So you can see that here I have spaces between the words and the name, which shouldn't be the case. So this should just be like a one word name. So what I'm going to do is basically, as I did in the previous one, just going to put some underscores between the words and that will fix it. Of course, I also need to change it in the readme, which is here. Okay, save and close. And then I will get add again, everything, get commit, fixed problems with the readme, get push. And now everything should be perfect. And we pushed it and then let's see, now everything should be working all right. We have our graphs, we have our tables, everything is here. So nice. This really looks like we just finished this project and then we are ready to wrap everything up.